Thank you. Uh, I, I promise not to take the full three hours I was allotted. Uh, I'm not a film critic, so I'm not going to talk about the film critic stuff. Uh, I have read an enormous amount of science fiction, uh, starting at an early age, courtesy of my father's marvelous collection. Uh, and my view of science fiction is that the best science fiction tells us about what it's like to be a human being. Uh, and that most of the best science fiction is not the space western, it's the stuff that is just barely fiction, uh, but not fantasy. And most of this film, I think, uh, is fiction, but not quite fantasy. Uh, this is also about video games and about layers of reality. Uh, short disclaimer, I don't know that I've ever really played a video game. <laughs> I don't do it. Uh, but all my students do, so uh, probably instead of doing their homework. Uh, this film came out uh, almost exactly the same time as The Matrix. Uh, frankly, I find this a more interesting film because it's less gimmicky. The Matrix spends a lot of time doing a lot of great special effects and a lot of gimmicks. I think this one uh, asks you to think a, lot, a little harder about what's there. Uh, it's not necessarily a new theme that life is a simulation. This goes back to the 70s. Uh, it was only about 10 days ago Elon Musk said the chances are billions to one that we're not living in somebody else's video game. Uh, and uh, this is the United States and Elon Musk has billions of dollars and therefore he must be right. You know? <laughs> we believe in this country that if you're rich then clearly you know everything there is to know. Uh, enough said there. Uh, what is a little different, I mean this, this film talks about layers of reality which is I think a very interesting thing when you think about people becoming immersed in things that can be brought into their, their, their senses better than simply staring at something on a screen. Uh, on the other hand, this one is somewhat different in that it it talks about uh, biologically induced uh, reality. Most of the science fiction I've read talks about plugging silicon into the slot in the back of your neck. Uh, this, is, this is a little different. Uh, and I think that's the part that is most fantastic. What we are finding is that if there's anything we really don't understand yet, it's organisms that happen to live on the planet. Uh, We've worked at that for a long time. We haven't. We know how to control a cockroach's motion. Uh, there are people that can plug electrodes into the three neurons that constitute a cockroach brain and make the cockroach turn left. That's about where we are right now. It's a long ways to actually doing something more sophisticated. So that's probably the the hard part. Uh, and I'll give you an anecdote from. A couple of years ago, I heard Ray Kurzweil give the uh, keynote talk at the supercomputing conference. Kurzweil is famous for speech recognition, optical character recognition, National Medal of Technology. His comment was that uh, people accused him of wanting designer babies. And he said, no, I was born in 1959, 1949, I want designer baby boomers. <laughs> which some of us would be happy to think about. Uh, so I think this is interesting. The, the other thing to think about is what it's saying about artificial intelligence, which is getting both a good rap and a bad rap these days. Some things are getting better and better. Uh, there is an Atlantic, I think it was Atlantic Monthly article recently, or maybe it was Wired, said we aren't going to be programming computers anymore, we're going to be training them. Well, somebody's going to have to program in the first place. Uh, there are these comments about whether AI is going to turn rogue and go bad on us. Kurzweil has written about the singularity when the computer program becomes sufficiently adept, it can recreate itself and doesn't need us anymore. Uh, I don't think we're close to uh, that kind of apocalypse, uh, mostly because we're just not that smart. Uh, doing things like human beings do them is, is a very, very difficult thing. Uh, when I first taught an AI course, I used one of the papers which was done by the U.S. Post Office that said that within 
the next decade, the post office will be sorting mail based on a handwriting recognizer. And they wouldn't need individual human beings to look at addresses anymore. And they predicted, this paper was written in 1950, so they predicted they would not need human beings to sort mail by 1960. Well, we're not there yet. That's why there are little barcode things that go onto letters. Uh, so, I think this is an interesting movie uh, because it, it talks about layers of reality. I'm going to leave completely aside the psychology part about violence and video games. That's not my expertise. Uh, I think the, the interesting thing is the notion of uh, a biological synthesis with some, something organic that changes the way we might behave. I don't know whether I'm happy about that or not. Uh, I probably won't have to be. Uh, some of you who are younger might have to worry about that. Uh, but I think it's a great, I think it's a very interesting film. I like this film. Uh, I was fortunate enough to record it back in January when they first asked me to do this. It was on whatever it was, HBO or, no, it couldn't have been HBO. I don't subscribe to that. Showtime, maybe. So I recorded it. So I've been able to watch it for free a couple, three times. Uh, and I'd be happy to take questions if people have questions, but I suspect people want to watch the film. <laughs>